Hello and good evening. This should be a quick video on how to use palettes in keyframe shapes. This is how it is going to be look uh, to look like in the end. And as always, I want to show it from scratch. So we start with a lovely new show. Okay, here we go. Titan 15. As always, we start with patching a few fixtures. Fixtures, Ruby. Then we have the Robin 100. Robin 100 LED beam. And we just need four fixtures, like so. One, two, three, four. And exit from patch menu. Okay, now we don't need the win or fixture windows anymore. We put the uh, groups like so. We also would need the um, position palettes, uh, view, P, and put it on top. Okay, this is our basic setup. Now we open the capture visualizer. We see our four fixtures patched there. Put it there. Look at it. Here we go. Now we go to position. Let's have a look. We will need just two pellets. So first pellet is in the back and second pellet is in the front like so. Maybe a little bit fanned, like so, this way. Um, so we start making pallets. This is our first one is in the back. So I use quick edit. So first pallet and the second pallet is in the front. Here we go. This is our second palette. Let's have a look. First one, or second one. Beautiful. Okay, next thing is we create a keyframe shape. So, clear as always, then shapes effect. Um, keyframe shapes. We create a lovely keyframe shape. We select the fixtures. We select our first palette and add this as frame. Now we have our second palette and add this as frame. Finish recording frames. Okay. We don't see anything because there is no light coming out of it, but it will come in a minute because we add another layer hit plus, hit layers, select our group, put them dimmer at full, this is the first frame, then dimmer at zero, our second frame, and finish recording frames. Ah, this looks already close to something called like a flyout. And now we simply change the curves for the demo layers. Here we go. And maybe that's it for the moment. Just change the spread to four. And this is our beautiful keyframe shape. So we record this as a playback. Here we go. Hit clear, hit exit, close the window and fire the playback. Here we go. So this was the first part, how to use um, palettes when creating keyframe shapes. Now comes the next trick. We simply um, edit the palette like we would be, uh, we would do in a new venue where the rig is different or higher or more fixtures or whatever. So imagine we simply want to change the front position. So we hit edit, 
edit our palette number two. Here we go. And uh, it has already selected the fixtures and it has um, switched on their dimmer and it has uh, sent them to the value of palette number two. And we simply need to go to P like position and change how we would like to change it. Like, of course, we need to see the difference. So let's switch on the fan and change the pan. So like it is a little bit wider and maybe uh, don't forget to switch off fan. And maybe the tilt is a little bit higher as well. And this should be our second palette updated. So we simply click on update palette number two and it has already changed it. So you can uh, click there. Ah, okay, because it is in programmer, we would need to switch them on if you, we wanted to check this. Okay, so our first pad is in the back, our second pad is in the front. Okay, and let's see how our keyframe shape looks like. And of course, it has also changed to the new position because the palette is referenced in the keyframe shape. This is what I wanted to show you. It's really, really neat way to work with lots of effects, lots of cues and update only one palette or only a few palettes. That's what I wanted to show you. Have fun.